A working girl All me need in a life is a working girl All right guys so welcome back to what the story and of course the title kind of changed in the big I just needed to switch it up a little bit so it's now called talk of what the story and you know me love for fashion and people business but in a positive way we focus on the positive things so shanique francis they don't have to worry yourself i'm gonna go deep in your business business you understand yeah. <laughs> but i um of course for those who might not know who you are and they might not know who I am. I am Queen Jojo. I've been doing this for a very long time now, but um, what this story is very new. Well, we're in our second season, so it's not that new anymore. And you can find me on Anchor. You can find me on Spotify. You can find me on Google Podcasts. And you have Breaker. And there's one more that I can't remember now, but by the end of this conversation, I know that I will. I have with me right now a CEO, a boss, a you know, minute. I'm going to do dibby dibby, right? So every time you see me speaking to a woman, she's a boss in some way or some form. So I'm speaking to a cousin, sister, a friend, and of course, a boss. Her name is Shanique Francis, and she is the CEO. She's the founder of Some Virtual Services. I got that right, right? Yes, you did. <laughs> right. So she is the brains behind and the talent behind some virtual services. I'm not say, in light of what is happening, I'm going to assume that Miss Francis have been um, taking all the opportunity when it comes to the online services that she's offering. So put your hands together. Welcome, my girl, Shanique Francis. What's up, girl? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm here, I'm here. Awesome, awesome. Now, before we go in, I am in the business of some virtual services. Tell my, mm-hmm. tell my listeners a little bit about yourself. All right. Um, so I'm Shanique. I started, well, myself personally, well, I have been, <laughs> well, I have been, um, I'm a virtual assistant. I've been a virtual assistant for over, um, almost 10 years now wow so, that's a long time i've been juggling it um with with day jobs so oh, yes wow. i'm a mother plus i'm a mother so yeah wow that's a yeah. lot so over 10 years so that means that uh, you're not new to the whole online no. um virtual business of assisting persons but not being in that physical space you're right, not new right. to that you know because 10 years is a long time to be to be offering that yeah. service. So tell me, how did you get into in into that industry in the first place? Because we know that it's a big thing now, but 10 years ago, how did you get into that? Well, um, 10 years ago, well, I remember one evening I was I was just on the internet. Um, I wasn't working at the time and I was like home and I was like, what is it that I can do? And I remember Basically, I really started started out doing it for my uncle. My uncle has it at his um his tour company, and I remember I started um like creating a Facebook page for him, and I was Whoa. managing the Facebook page, and you know I was responding to his email, and so and then it's like a couple months after I said this this is something I can do for other people too, you right. know, because I was just doing it for my uncle. I wasn't even charging him. I was just doing it as you know. As a favor, mm-hmm. and I said, This is something I can do for other people as well. And then I did some more research, and then I found out about freelancing sites like Fiverr and Upwork mm-hmm. at the time, it was called Odex. So that's when I really started, you know, like dig more into it. And I went on Fiverr and I got some work on Fiverr. I, you know, I was promoting right. myself there. And then till I branch off, and I said, No, man, I can't, maybe I can't take this off Fiverr and just offer it to persons that I meet in person. And so, you know. Right. still do the work for them as well so yeah that's how i really got into it and i've been doing it and still juggling nine to five i got nine to five and i'm doing it and juggling it and so so yeah so, so how is how how do you do that because when i think about i'm not going to pretend like i don't know how you do it but when you think about um assisting somebody uh 
you have to go to work and then your next job running your own business is that you have to assist others in their job how do you manage to do that all right so first of all schedule schedule i have to schedule myself i have to make sure that i have things planned out how i want to do based around my oil for my schedule at work it's not flexible so i have to really work around work schedule so i have to if I can wake up early in the morning and start working on it before I go to work, or when I come in from work, I can do you know, I try to schedule things like that way. Right, in right. That way. Yeah. So, um, put mommy in the play now, being a mommy. How do you, when, when do you schedule? Because you don't get to schedule <laughs> whether or not you're even, a mom. Well, for my daughter, sometimes I'm here and she's even in my lap. Like she's she's there with me, like, and I say, like, you know, sometimes I don't want to like leave her hold, but I have to still have her like in my lap beside me, or she draw a chair and she's beside me, and right. she was like, "Mommy, what are you doing?" And sometimes I try to explain to her, and you know, if she can point out stuff, depending on what I'm doing at the time, she will help me point out stuff and help that little yeah. like that. But yeah, I mean, I still have to pull her in, and still have to make time for her as well. I know when it's her bedtime, I have to be there for that time. And, you yeah. know, because yeah. she's not going to sleep. I'm not in the bed with her. <laughs> so sometimes I'm... <laughs> mommy, <laughs> mommy come to bed now, no, I say, I still come. And she's yeah, not, she really right. not going to sleep. No. And sometimes I have to go in the bed with her. And then, and when she falls asleep, no, I get up back and I come back on the laptop and I finish up, back. you know? Yeah, so that's how I have to be doing it. <laughs> oh, that sounds like, that sounds like a handful though, Shani, when you think about yeah, it. it it's, it's really easy. in this since you've been doing it for 10 years and as i said before 10 years is a, a long time to be doing something where it, so for, for the most part if you look now you see that persons are playing catch up in regards to what you have been offering for over 10 years now what what would you say is the the pros and the cons from 10 years ago to now what are some of your pros and cons running uh, this um this business all right so um pros i mean i'm already in it so i you know i'm more versed and flexible i can balance myself with it and other things like other things in my life um also the fact that i am doing it already so i'm experienced so i can offer my experience to persons you know um some of the cons now is the the, the 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 industry is saturated now. So, you know, a lot of persons coming in you know, wanting to do it. And some of them probably can't do the work as best as you right. would be able to do it. Girl, don't so, I know it. Yeah, so <laughs> that that's kind of one of the kinds of it now. Right. No person so is just getting into it now because of the money. Right. No, they're, not, they're, not, they're not doing it because they really understand what it is to offer the, the service that they're offering. Right. You know? I, I yeah. Know. And how is it with clients? You know, what what's that experience like? Is there anybody that you have um, assisted and been with since uh, ten years ago, and you still have? Like them? I said, I ha yeah, like I said, I have my com my uncle company. I'm still I still do stuff for him. Oh, nice. um, well, he, he he passed away, but his daughter still do some stuff with her for the company. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so and I have. Yeah. I have, I have some people on Fiverr that they, they you know, from the 10 years ago, they're still coming back they're to still me. with you. So that, for those who are listening, yeah. goes to show, go on Fiverr and it, it's still, is some virtual services on Fiverr or is it you use no, your on, name? Well, on Fiverr, it's my, my name on Fiverr. So on Fiverr, you, Fiverr, sorry, you will find Sunny Francis. But right. if you go on Facebook, on Instagram, it's some virtual services, Right. 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 Yes. So and the fact and look here, five are people them that ramp in out. If you do your if you do your business good, they're gonna yeah. continue using you. I've seen it before. Sure, that's they don't true. play. That's, they yeah. don't play. And if you're not good, they're gonna write that you're not good. They're gonna so write that review. Trust they're me. gonna write that review because <laughs> they remember we're global now. And that's one of the things that I love ab about the industry. While it's saturated, is the fact that you, I know for sure, Shani, that you don't have to worry that you're only focusing in, in Jamaica. So if you can't get nothing um, in Jamaica, that's fine because more than likely you can't earn some US dollars. Yes, I, I know so, I'm working with someone who is actually in Australia. So yeah. 
See, so that's one of the that's one of the things that I wanted you to share with persons who are saying that oh, there's no opportunities there. They don't have yeah, a job. Not. They don't have anything. What What do you say to persons who are saying why the government not no we not no work. The government not provide no work for it. What What do you say to them? You know, well, what, you, have to, you have to, well the government you have to create your own job. You know, you have to do that. I mean. It's there for us. The internet is there. I mean, I mean, it takes just deep research. In me. I mean, it's not going to come overnight, but, mm -hmm. you know, with small, small steps, I mean, you reach the success that you want. To. So, Definitely. I mean, just stay focused and use the internet. It's, right. at, it's at our fingertip. Mm -hmm. And it's, so, and one of the things I, I always say now, Shani, it's like I see persons complaining on the very internet that they're on, the very Facebook, right. very exactly. um, Instagram, and I'm like, you spend so much time on here, and you have not tried to figure out a way to use this very platform right, that's true. that you spend so many time on to make money, mm -hmm. you know, that's so that true. is something I appreciate about you. You're so, you, you, people wouldn't know that you do this because you're so mm -hmm. quiet Chani. but i know for whatever reason you're so reserved and quiet so how do you get persons you know how do you advertise how do you promote i see now that you're promoting more you know mm -hmm. and that's all you're promoting more thank you so much for the business queen jojo promotion yeah. but i see <laughs> even on your own that you're promoting more for your for your business is there a reason why you decide to kind of be more aggressive in promoting right. your business all right the thing is because i also have a 95 i didn't want to like overbook myself and then can't complete stuff because i've actually had to turn down work yeah because of timing i've actually had to do that so um so that's one of the reasons why i i Decides, yeah. yeah right so yeah so, so but no i'm seeing where i can create more time because i also want to stop working nine to five yeah. and just be do this full time um, yes. so i'm, I'm trying to create that's what i'm trying to do yeah. now to work that in yeah. yeah yeah and do you see yourself um employing others because all right so you run yeah. a business you're doing this yourself do you mm -hmm. think that if you get enough clients you would actually employ somebody else to assist sure, you with most power. definitely yes yeah. most definitely so yeah. pay attention people go over some virtual services just in case the the workload gets heavy for her and she needs another assistant be ready be ready yes. you're going to be spending the time on the internet figure out a way to make some money and i think this is a legit way to earn and i am so proud of you shani that 10 years is a very long time to stick to something. Yes. And I know it, it has not always been easy, you know, the journey in that. running your own business. And the, the fact that one of the things that I look at for persons who do nine to five like yourself and myself, and then mm -hmm. try to run their own business, this is it. It, it can be time consuming and it feels that okay. it feels as though it's like I say, yo, my wish, my could I earn, mm -hmm. you know, enough where I can just focus on my own thing. Right. What would you say to somebody who is right now frustrated? Them, they're they're frustrated. You know, they're like, I have to do this nine to five. How we know the food price I go, flow I go, everything I go, and the pay not going up. Right? What do you say to somebody who feels like probably giving up on their dream? right now because it's not bringing in enough dollar at the moment to stick to the nine to five what what would you say to that person are you there shanique looks like for me right, sorry about that the call was actually coming in um, that's okay go ahead yeah i'm here that call was actually <laughs> no say repeat the question because the oh, call came you in hear me? you see this is what i love about the internet and the phone business. Now I was asking you, what would you say to somebody who is really on the fence right now? They're trying to make a decision whether or not they should leave, stay at their nine to five or stay at their nine to five, 
stop focus on the, the business because it just seems to be bringing money or leave their nine to five to focus on their business to see if they can earn enough money. Well, what's your advice to, to that person? Well, for me, I mean, well, I'm kind of in the position still, but what I used to encourage myself is that, I mean, the same kind of energy and effort that I put into somebody else's job. Why can't I do that for myself? Why can't I do that for myself? Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. It's kind of how I'm looking at it. So that's why, like you said, I have just, I've been doing more posting and so now that's what I do is like, why can't I do that for myself? Right. I'm doing it for other people. Why can't I do it for myself? Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So try to weigh, weigh, weigh what are your pros and cons? Like, you know, like what do, I mean, like make a list, right? right. At work. What does work do for me? You know, yeah. how do I feel? And right. Then you can wait. If I do my own business, what, 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 how will I feel about my business? What can mm-hmm. I, what can my business do for me? You know, kind of way that way. And then you can look at, then maybe that can help you to right. make your decision. Right, right. You know I agree. Maybe, I agree. maybe you need to get some stuff in place. Like for me, like I, I do, I still need to get some stuff in place for myself. So maybe you can look at that. At, okay, I'm gonna work on this. I want to work on that, and then you know, take it step by step, right? And then right. make your decisions. I agree with you hundred percent. Is there anything special happening right now at some virtual services that you want the people to know for them to come over and and figure out what it is they need assistance so that you can that you can help them? What's happening over there? All right. So um. Well, one of the things that I've recently added to it is for like Jamaicans living overseas, if they have like passports or TRNs or any business that they need to be get done in Jamaica, and they really can't depend on the on the family that they have here or friends that they have here. Well, that's something that we do, um, like beer or services. Then, wow, understand? So nice. we HL FedEx and we pick it up and drop it off at the office that you want it to be delivered to. So. Yeah, that's one thing that we that I'm really pushing now, and that is happening. Now. So yeah. Okay, that sounds good. So for those who are overseas, you live in you're you living in America, anywhere in the world, but you are yeah, Jamaican. You know that sometimes you know you have things to sort out. You need your documents, and we know that persons are busy, and not everybody's reliable. So here's a service that is yeah. professional. You're going to get it done in time. You don't have to be calling and reminding persons to do it for you. This is somebody who's professional who will get it done and out the way for you. So that's definitely a good service, um, Shani, to, to be offering because I know a lot of persons that sometimes complain about that. So yeah, that, yeah. Is, that, is, that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. So, so here, go ahead. You were saying something? I'm saying, yeah. So that's what we're pushing now. That's what I'm pushing now, yeah. So other than that, I see where you offer administrative assistance yeah. and you offer personal. What is the personal assistance? What, what, what would you do? In well, the personal assistant um, side of it is like for, so someone who plan a vacation, I plan like a vacation, their travel plans, you know, oh. stuff like that, personal. Right. Okay, okay. And then the administrative side, you know, Responding to emails, say a text phone no, call because oh, it works. If a virtual thing, call yes, that I do take phone calls. I do. Okay. Well, for, for the persons that I've been working with, they had their system. They have their system already, so I can just log on to their system to take to get their calls. To and get their so, call. wow. so yeah, I do take phone calls, right? Right. And, or make the phone calls outbound or inbound. Okay, so that's so Shanique, I've. Well, if I drop you up there, you know, because when we think about it with what I do from nine to five, if then you do your nine to five and then now you come for answer call, um, make calls, answer calls, send emails, that's, I mean, you have only for work, man. Yes. Are you have to drop them. <laughs> people, I, I still need the more. Work. I still need more, Jojo. I still need more. I still need more because, listen, she has a daughter. She has a daughter. I would know say little girls are expensive. Man, uh, you know, and <laughs> them have to eat. School have to yeah. eat. Uh, we know light bill up because mm-hmm. everybody they home. And then yes. summer is coming. So, and then it's back to school. So support Chinese, you know, Jamaican 
um, girl just doing what she does best in providing for herself and her family, you know, some virtual services. You can go over on Instagram at some virtual services, or you can go to Facebook at some virtual services to learn more about the company and give them an email address, Shani, and a number. All right. So email address is somevirtualservices at gmail.com. And the phone number is 876-879-9048. Okay. So you can definitely reach out to Shani. And I vouch for her. I mean, Shani, a couple of years ago, about two yeah. years ago, and we did a pageant thing. And right. from then on, we have kept the link. And I'm so very proud of you, Shanique. I really didn't know that 10 years ago you started this business. So that was something I learned new today, guys, on what to um, talk about this story. And you know, I'm always repping for entrepreneurs, whether you are a full-time entrepreneur, part-time entrepreneur, the fact that you're hustling is a big deal for me. I really like to see, especially women, sorry, men, we not try, you know, but I love to see women just going hard for themselves, you know, and reaching for the, reaching, reaching their goals and going after their goals. So I'm very proud of you, Shanique. And you. make sure on a call some virtual services. They offer personal assistance. They offer administrative assistance. And as she shared earlier, if you are a Jamaican, if you are a Jamaican, but you live somewhere else, but you need to sort out your passport. Even if you live in Jamaica too, and you still, you, you can't bother for your long line or whatever the case is. True I, enough. I can do it for you true, too. Yeah. True, 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 true. <laughs> because sometimes you, you but can't bother for going away and do nothing. Yeah. You can set up yeah. another line. So if you are one of those persons, like, yeah, manage the line business, then you can manage the line for you. She will do it for you. She will get, yeah, the, yeah. get it done. Summer is coming up. You don't know where you want to go. You need some assistance with booking your vacation. Shanique, some virtual assistance, um, service, some virtual services will assist you with that. So you need to start out your vacation time. I'm going to know who not take vacation. I'm going to know who not going to run out when the place is open because me know me I run out. So I'm going to know about it else, right? Let Shanique assist you with that. You know, don't just leave that up to and pick any, anywhere. Shanique, I'm here and mm. class. Let her start out your vacation for you. If you're not too sure where you need to go and if you're looking for the best deals, she will assist you with that. All right, yes. guys. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we go, Shani, before we wrap up this session? Uh, yeah, just... Go over Instagram, message us. Um, we're doing we're doing free consultation, so you can always reach out to us via Instagram. Phone number 876-879-9048 or email some virtual services at gmail.com and find us on Facebook. We're doing free consultations to see how best we can help you. All right. right then so free consultation. All them something that you can come to me. But now give you no free consultation. You can go over some virtual... For a limited time only. For a limited time. Please support that in there. I'm going to give you my business. I'll give you an idea for free. Don't work that way over here. Okay? Mm -hmm. But congrats, Shanique, and all thank the best you. on your business. And thank you so much for coming on Talk Up Watch Your Story podcast. I really do appreciate it. And it will be out soon by the time... By the time on the air, this we don't do it and wrap it up and go about business and I do. I would have something else, but I'm very uh, proud of you uh, and all the best. Yeah, thank you for having me. No, you are most welcome, man. And next time when we talk, we're not going to talk about your business, we're going to talk about other businesses because my offer. Yeah, you don't have other ones to talk about. Yes, yeah, so we have other things to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, but may I look up for the other rest of ladies them to gather them for have a conversation in regards right. to yeah. so my aunt tell cooking now we're so all right all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so thanks again for tuning in to talk up what's your story podcast i really do really do appreciate it thanks again Shanique, and take care all right bye, all right, bye. <laughs>